Hi everyone, it's Morgan. So about a year ago, I did a video where I took Jamaican black castor oil and I applied it to my eyelashes every day for a month because apparently it like promoted eyelash growth, so I wanted to test it out, whatever. So if you watched the video, thank you. Yes, it worked. It helped my eyelashes. They grew beautifully, but I want to give you a one year update and like kind of answer a lot of commonly asked questions to clarify things and yeah. I do suggest watching that video first before you watch this one so that you're not completely lost. First big question was the kind of castor oil and if other oils work. So I specifically use Jamaican black castor oil. There are two different kinds of castor oil. This one is not necessarily proven, but it has shown better results. I did plenty of research, read a couple different articles on this before, and that's just what most things were suggesting, that Jamaican black castor oil was better than the other kind, the cold pressed kind. So I went with that one. The other one does still promote hair growth. I think it just might not be as effective. So some people did ask if they can use the other one. I mean, if it's what you have and you don't want to get another one, why not try it? Just see if it works, like there's no harm in it. I did also get questions if olive oil, coconut oil, and Vaseline work. I personally have not tried any of those, so I cannot speak on any of them. The reason I chose specifically Jamaican black castor oil is because I found the most research saying that that specific kind promotes hair growth. Nothing is scientifically proven. It can't be guaranteed that if you use it, your lashes are gonna all of a sudden look long and fake, you know, but that was the strongest one that promoted, keyword promoted, hair growth. If you want to try the others, it's cheap, feel free, but this is the kind that I think is probably the best, my opinion. Another common question was asked if I tested it on my skin before applying it. I did not. However, you probably should, especially if your skin is more sensitive. I think it probably would be smart to take some oil, test it on a less like fragile part of your skin. Your eyes are obviously sensitive. They're fragile. It's not your thickest skin on your body. So I would test it somewhere else just to be sure. I literally just like went all in and did it and I did not have a reaction, which is great, but you should probably test it first. I would literally just take some and rub it somewhere on your body, let it sit see if anything happens if you do have allergies too, do your own research like kind of see if you think this could be something you'd be allergic to another question was where exactly I applied it so I did apply it both top and bottom lashes yes both is great I did my lash lines as well as coating my lashes so I went all in I did put on like a decent amount because I wanted to really test it but you do have to be careful with the amount and when I say lash line I applied on top like you close your eye and I would apply it on top I would definitely not go under Underneath my lashes like underneath my top lashes and apply it there that's way too close to your eye do not do that I would definitely go top lash line and then just coat your lashes like you're putting mascara on just be careful if you put double the quantity on it it doesn't mean it's gonna grow double the length this is an instant it's probably gonna take a month two months to show results so don't like rush it just try not to get it in your eye I personally applied it with a q-tip you can use a spoolie too to coat your lashes some people asked and some people commented that they use their fingers as well so as long as you're being gentle, I don't think there's really a right or wrong way to apply it. So fingers, q-tips, spoolie, any of that is great. Just be gentle, you know? If you do get it in your eye, however, I would recommend washing it out with water, splashing your face, patting it to dry, maybe use some sort of facial cleanser. I wouldn't go in with like a plain soap because it is your skin. It's your the eyes, it's sensitive. You know, if you want to use a cleanser, use something that can get near your eyes without being dangerous. Remember, if you are cleaning out of your eye, your eyelashes are sensitive, so just be so so gentle splash the water rub around your eyes with some cleanser pat to dry like just be very gentle someone did leave a comment that they had it in their eyes and it burned I I've definitely gotten it in my eyes before and it didn't burn. So if it's burning, you're probably either allergic to it or you are using the wrong kind. So be careful. Like I said before, you should test it. If it's burning, stop. Just please stop. That was only one comment out of a lot of them. So I don't think many people experience that. And if you oftentimes feel that it is going in your eye, you're probably just using too much. But I didn't have the problem where I would wake up and my eyes would be like crusted shut or anything. So just make sure you are not applying too much. Maybe start off small. First night, just do a little bit. Second night, do a little more. If it gets too much, die it down be careful because we are dealing with your eyes they're sensitive you don't want anything going wrong you don't want anything damaged be careful be kind to yourself I know we all want long pretty lashes but your health is important too another thing is some people commented they use it on their brows too as well as their lashes maybe like their mustache for a guy you can apply it anywhere you want hair to grow more I mean it's not like the cure-all if you're like losing hair it's not all of a sudden just gonna fix all your problems and give you a full head of hair but apply it wherever you want it's not like it's only meant for 
lashes. It's not even designed specifically for lashes. It's just something that can potentially work. So put it wherever you want. I've only put it on my brows like once or twice, but my brows grow like crazy, so I don't routinely use that. They're already out of control. Another question was how many times a day or when did I do this? This was answered right in the video. I would just put it on before bed every single night and wash it right off in the morning before I did anything else. Just paid extra special attention to it when I did wash my face in the morning with my facial cleanser. So one time a day, just a night while I slept, I still wore mascara during the day. That was another question too. Yes, I wore mascara. I didn't go a whole month with no makeup. Sometimes that's hard to do. Sometimes you can't always do that. So yes, I still wore mascara. I just would wash the castor oil off my face in the morning, apply mascara throughout the day, take it off at night, clean my face again, apply the oil, go to bed. You can do both. Another thing I did mention is part of the reason I want to do this is because the castor oil is cheap. Lash serums are so expensive. Some people agreed with me. They're like, hey, why not try it? So I just want to point that out. Like, I don't know if this works better or worse than some great lash serums out there, but it's a very inexpensive way to try it. So definitely go ahead and try it. And someone did comment that certain lash serums are bad for you. I don't specifically know, but if that's true, maybe the castor oil could be a better alternative in terms of ingredients. Someone said they liked it because it was natural and didn't irritate the skin, which I agreed. I know other people said that they experienced burning, so I'm not sure what was going on with that but I agreed there was just no irritation. I really didn't have problems. Another comment I got was about someone's experience with lash extensions. Maybe if you're hesitant and worried to get them, try castor oil first. If you're not seeing luck with your own natural lashes growing, maybe then go to lash extensions. If you're like worried, like I don't know too much about lash extensions, I'm not gonna speak on it. That can be kind of controversial, but I'm just saying this could be a way to kind of experiment if you're hesitant about going for that extension. See if your lashes will grow first. Another common question or comment was some people asked if my lashes started falling out more than normal because apparently castor oil can do that. Now I will say yes, I still use it. I do use it as often as I can. During the 30 days, I use it every single day religiously. I was really good about it. After that, yes, I did continue to use it, but I was a little more lenient. I wouldn't like bring it places with me. I would just use it in my kind of like nighttime skincare routine, but if I forgot it, it wasn't a big deal. Now, I didn't experience lashes falling out till literally probably about a week ago. Keep in mind, this is an entire year later. Like I posted this end of May, 2020. It's now end of May, 2021. I don't know why, but all of a sudden randomly, like last week, as I was taking off my mascara for the night, I did experience lashes falling out. Now I don't think anyone else would really see any gaps or anything, but me personally, because I know my own lashes really well, I can kind of tell that on this eye, I feel like there should be more there than there is. And I see some lashes come out when I take my mascara off so I think it's just because lately I haven't been as good at using it so just know that if you do want to use it just continue using it like don't ever stop or you could maybe experience that again it's literally been an entire year and I have not struggled with this until last week and my lashes still look fine right like this is them today I don't know if you noticed but I just personally noticed, I think on this eye, a couple have fallen out and I can see it, but you might not be able to. I just want to put that out there. It is a side effect. It could happen, but it's taken me an entire year to see. So in my head, it's still worth it and I will continue to use it. So yes, I have used it the past year. I do still continue using it after that one 30 day trial experiment. Another super great, super valid point I want to bring up that someone commented is they said, I'm pretty sure by the time you are done with the 30 days, your eyelashes would be almost fully grown. Yes, that is true. So I did experience the most growth at the end of that first month. After that, like your eyelashes get to a point where they can't just keep growing forever. Like if they grow that same steady rate forever, they would be up to my forehead. Like they would be way, way, way too long. So yeah, they get to a point where they don't grow that much anymore, but that initial boost really gets you somewhere. So if you use it for a while and you say progress, great, but don't expect them to keep growing past your eyebrows. That's just not realistic. I hope that makes sense because that was a super, super great point and something that I always thought and was very, very true. Last huge thing I do want to say, it will not work for everyone. Just like it wasn't irritating to me, but it was irritating to someone else. Obviously, we all have different skin. We all have different hair. We all have different bodies. It's not gonna work for everyone. Many people commented and said, oh my gosh, it works great for me. I'm so happy I tried this. So happy I didn't spend a lot of money on lash serums. But other people did comment and say either, hey, this didn't work for me at all, or 
hey, I tried this and I saw some growth, but my lashes look nowhere near yours. So just keep in mind, this is not like the cure all. This will not work for everyone. I personally just think it's really great to try because it's inexpensive and seems pretty natural. So to me, it was really just like, why not? See if it works. We all want long lashes, right? You wouldn't have clicked on this video if you didn't want long lashes. I think I hit the most asked questions. If you do have more questions, please leave a comment. I would love to answer them. I just hope this kind of cleared things up, kind of like a one year update. Yes, I still use it. Yes, I still love it. I still stand by it. Although, like I said, there's some negative things, but way more pros than cons. So to me, it's worth it. I'm going to keep using it. Please watch the other video because this will make a lot more sense and will give you instructions on what to do. Basically, I link a lot of things in the other video, tools, all of that. I really get into it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave this video a like if you liked it and a comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah.